gas, RATA squawking 1000, ADSB is on, Grimps. Speed right 6 down 5, stop down tower, 118, and Europe's 11.5 million square kilometers of airspace is among the busiest in the world. Air transport contributes 110 billion euros to EU GDP, and by 2035, Europe is forecast to see 14.4 million flights a year, carrying 1.4 billion passengers. However, this growth comes at a cost. Skies are saturated and flight management is complex, with 36 different navigation service providers and 63 en-route centres. This fragmentation creates longer flights and more delays, and is estimated to increase flight costs by 4 billion euros a year. To combat this worsening situation, in 2004, the European Union launched CESAR, the single European Sky Air Traffic Management Research, to define, develop and deploy what is needed to increase ATM performance. In 2007, the initiative, one of the most innovative infrastructure projects ever launched by the European Union, brought together the expertise of the entire air transport community, including aerospace technology companies such as Honeywell, through a public-private partnership known as the CESAR Joint Undertaking. CESAR is the technology part of uh, the single European sky, which basically brings together modern technology to do air traffic management to make flying more efficient, to increase the airspace capacity of Europe, to lower the cost. Honeywell, as the avionics supplier, brings in the systems, the flight management systems, the navigation systems, the communications, as well as the cockpit, the interface for the crew, which enables the crew and controllers on the ground to share the same information to make decisions collectively. CESAR's augmented approaches to land project has brought together a consortium of 15 aerospace technology companies, coordinated by NetJets and including Honeywell. Its aim is to demonstrate the validity of new approach and landing solutions, such as the Honeywell SmartPath ground-based augmentation system for RNP to GLS approaches, and the Honeywell SmartView synthetic vision landing aids, which have been on test at various airports. The importance of the augmented approaches to land project is that it brings together different technologies to save fuel, CO2 emissions, and also lower noise in the highly populated areas around airports. With our Falcon 900EX, we have a very sophisticated setup that enables us to collect all the data on board that we need to support the concept validation. So this is a Falcon 900 EZ2 airplane based in Phoenix, Arizona, and it's exclusively used for flight tests. And as you can see, we have it outfitted with a variety of test equipment. The demonstration flights that we are doing uh, here at Honeywell are very important because you actually have to build up the experience with the flight crew, with air traffic control, with the safety authorities to make a decision on deployment of these technologies in Europe. With the help of aerospace technology companies that have come together for the CESAR joint undertaking, it's forecast that introducing a single European sky will improve air safety and cut air traffic management costs by 50%. It will also improve the flying experience for thousands of passengers.